Hi there guys, uh, happy to be back. Uh, this is always the highlight of my week and I'm excited to get into fixing some of the problems that I was uh, dealing with earlier. And yeah, today I'm just gonna figure out why the background wasn't updating and I'm sure it'll be a lot of fun. I mean, for me at least, there's my fish tanks turning on. Um, I'm gonna send like maybe put up photos or make art of my, of my fish for you guys because they're pretty damn cute. Um, but otherwise, just getting the backgrounds to change, and we'll see how we go. I'm, I'm not been feeling well this week, so we'll try our best in terms of uh, trying to keep the stream going. But yeah, I hope <laughs> some of you understand if, um, yeah, not not doing so well. Um, anyway, uh, let's get back to it, and uh, yeah, jump in and see what we can do in terms of making things work all right so it's been a while it's been a while um because i haven't had time to work on the game at all this week so let's jump in and what we want to be changing is uh the background and i'm just going to turn off the movie player because we don't need to see that so we're i'm just going to jump in and see what i can do about um about changing this background uh, based on, you know, this random value. Um, so what we've got going on here is uh, we're going to the ship game mode um, and then we're grabbing the background type and then setting the flipbook based off of that. And so what I need to be doing um, is uh, checking when this background type gets changed. So from memory, I think it's in the player, uh, in the player node, I mean in the player blueprint, and yep, so we've got a random integer going into the background type uh, for the purpose of just testing things. I'm just going to get that to print out what, uh, what string it is. Yeah, and then it should go from 0 to 3. So, and then we'll get that to... So this is a node that try, um, if I converts integer to a string, so it'll print out in the top left. Uh, for the purposes of just making this easier on me, is that, yeah. So yep, everything will go back to basics and I'll just have to play through the game very easily. <laughs> and we'll see how that works out. Bing, 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 bing. Let's just... Oh god, let's just pause my pause the regular music just for the time being. Yep, there we go. It's so cheerful. Oh god, I had no idea. Uh so if my screen looks kinda different, I actually found out that the lights on it it was too dark. Like this is a game level thing. Uh a game it is really hard to play and talk at the same time. <laughs> so yeah, I found out that my lighting was way too low for games and right now what you're seeing is Oh, okay. Okay, it updated. That was that was um We're gonna have to do a fade on that because that's not looking super, but hey, it works. Let's uh fill up our health and let's see how long we can last. Um but yeah, okay, now that I've got that working and for some reason nothing else uh, <laughs> we'll figure out why the um have to there are so many things going through my mind that I'm thinking I have to fix um, while I'm playing this game but hey ah cool and my jelly beans fantastic so it is actually changing but it's taking a second to change uh, so yeah um, that's fantastic, and then I can uh, kind of take those screenshots and move them along. Uh, in that case, that was not needed. And that's uh, th I'm still happy it worked out, and I don't need to delete this. I need to delete the print string. Um, yeah, uh, I don't know how I'm going to stop it from doing that weird fuzzy thing at the beginning. Um, I think I will have to like uh, fade to black and then come back up. Uh, which is something that we can, I don't know how I'm going to do that, um, besides like an animation, I guess. <laughs> uh, but, you know, we'll we'll jump into it and see what's up. 
let me just uh, move things around, turn the music back on for you guys while we sort this out. And yeah, that. what else am I going to try to do? Alright, so that thing works. It's not pretty, but it works, and it works for screenshots. Uh, let me just take a moment to adjust my monitor settings. Oh lord. There we go. Standard brightness. There we go. We're back to it. Alright, so uh, I hope I don't have to change all of my graphics based on that, but it's fine. Oh, my screen looks so dark after that. <laughs> um, yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, think about my life choices and uh, probably turn this right here into a function. So uh, because this is a repeating code right here, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be grabbing this entire chunk of code and we're going to add a new function. And hopefully if I can just, yep, fantastic. So we're going to grab this here. And then that will be the return node. And yeah, this will uh, save me a lot of coding later just because it's one of those things that does repeat a lot. So I'm going to uh, name this function, for example. Oh, I can't. Wait. There we go. Um, I'm going to name this function uh, maybe wave up. Next wave probably makes more sense. Next wave. Fantastic, so that when I go back to my event graph, I can actually remove all of this code right here. Um, and just go, huh, that's so weird. Uh, so I'll just connect this back up. And then I can just go next wave. So convenient. Wait, is that what it, what is it doing here? So goes from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah, okay, so I've got everything right. It was just taking a moment. So yeah, uh, why you would use a function instead of a custom event uh, is because all the info is already right here. And um, a custom event is usually uh, used to trigger other things within other pieces of code, but a function is kind of isolated to this specific piece of code. So yeah, um, we're just making it all nice and neat. Bam. Oh god, I've done that thing again. Where is it? But yeah, it's a, it's a bit of a thing. And the reason why these are... Uh, so these are custom events that are further down. Um, I'm sure you guys have seen that in my previous code, next wave. Um, and the reason for, where is the, where is the enemy spawner? Huh. Oh, there it is. The reason for that is because there's all of this code right here. Uh, some of it, oh, actually, this could actually be put into a function now that I think about it. Um, so yeah, that's that's also something that can be done because it takes all the inputs and outputs. Um, but that's not really a concern right now. My concern is to just clean this up and uh, think about how I'm going to change the flipbook or if I want to uh, add new character, uh, add new um, pawns, so to say, and then fade them in or out. So what's going on here? Thanks, Brian. Next wave. Fantastic. Yeah, my, my brain's just a little bit a little bit fried after recent events. It's just been a busy time, you know. Um, yeah, so that does the job. And yeah, I keep all these separate because they conjure up, I suppose, different enemy types. All right, so by looks of it, it's all good. Um, let's launch the game with my different different uh, desktop settings, I guess. See what it looks normal to me. There we go, that's looking a lot more normal. 
And yeah, this game isn't actually usually this slow. Um, it's one third of the speed in in game. All right, so by the looks of it, that's the next thing we need to fix. The scoring system for some reason is just not working. Oh, this is so hard to play when it's one third of the speed. <laughs> I'll just I'll just take the hit. Oh. Brilliant. Okay, so for some reason I'm not seeing a change in the uh, background. That could be because it was set to zero this time. Let me just grab that little top one there. But it looks to me like it's not registering the enemy score unless it's a candy corn. Oh, there it is. <laughs> that was very random, very random change. Yep, okay, cool. So I'm going to fix up the scoring system next because for some reason that's just not cooperating with the rest of the game. But the background does indeed randomly change, uh, which is uh, kind of, you know, kind of good news, kind of not so good news. Uh, so for this, we're going to head into our enemy classes and see what's up. So everything is done primarily from the enemy parent. And that's how it's calculated. Okay, so it grabs the points, it grabs the score based on the difficulty. Nah. Uh, and the reason for this is that if p if the player decides to actually change uh, when uh, change the difficulty in the middle of the gameplay, so that their score doesn't like get OP <laughs> from that. So there's that. Yeah, so um, I'm going to go in and see what's up in terms of the candy corn and why that's different to, for example, the, the, the creamy fruits. All right, so here's the issue. Um, all right, so there's the item drop. So there's a new, so I've added this new thing and I haven't actually changed everything else. So that's what's going on. All right. So we're just actually going to extend this. Oh, Lordy. And we're just going to go scoring from there. So there we go. It's kind of like, it's kind of like a menial task, but it's going to fix whatever I've got going on right now. So that is a four, three and two. So yeah, that that would fix uh, that would fix our scoring system. That's uh, <laughs> apparently not not too good right now. That's okay. We've solved a problem. I'm, I'm a fan. Um, so I'm just going to move this move this up. At least I'm really enjoying the music today. Um, scoring. And yeah, what else has been going on? I've started to work out. Um, I'll, hey, oi, <laughs> I've started to work out at home and it's been a, it's been a journey, uh, especially since, uh, especially since, uh, there are some things I, that happened that are happening now that didn't happen when I was younger while working out. Um, yeah. All right, cool. Where is it? Oh, there we go. So, um, just to just to kind of clarify, uh, clarify what's going on here right now. Um, I've got um, everything set up in an array, and these are just assigning the uh, the array values. For example, uh, the enemy score will be added to that particular member of the enemy score, and then the enemy point it will be. That's how you get the score sheet at the end. <laughs> um, yeah, you'll see next time I play through. Let me know if you guys are joining for the first time. <laughs> and so this time we're going to go scoring. But yeah, like, because this doesn't ultimately, like, break the game. Boop. So wait, why is that, why is that down here? I don't understand why that's down here. Huh. I have to have a look at this code because I'm really confused as to 
the, the reason why it seems to be repeating on itself. So we've got the destroy actor, which destroys the actor. Uh, it drops the item, the scoring, the enemy death, and then breaks up. And then five seconds later, 0 0.5 seconds later, it does another eye. I don't think this needs to be happen here because it seems to be working just fine like this. So I'm just going to compile that. <laughs> Sorry. Um, and yeah, fixing that up. And yeah, because I can only work out so little compared to uh, <laughs> when I was a spring chicken. I say that, but I'm I'm not that old. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's 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 definitely very interesting. Some of the biological changes that happen when you when you exercise, and it's just the body. Uh, my partner, who's who's done some kind of uh, some medical and fitness science. It's just telling me how it's like flushing all the toxins out of my body, which sounds like one of those pseudoscience things, but it's <laughs> it's not because it's actual exercise science. And I'm starting to think all the people that avoid uh, who who you know talk about you know oranges curing cancer just need to exercise. <laughs> they themselves just need to exercise to get whatever toxins are making them think crazy things like anything but what doctors prescribe is going to help. <laughs> so there we go and then we can just remove these values. Let's see what's next. The bullet, the boss, the pop rock. I think the last part is going to be the most interesting because in terms of a... Uh, wait before I reset that let's just fix that up. Uh, so <laughs> What was I thinking? Wait, hold up. That's not right. So that's supposed to be 16 and 17, I think. 16 and 17. Let's just take a quick trip over to our... A quick trip to our... What's it? <laughs> I've completely lost all of my stuff. Um... It would be under setup classes? No? Under the HUD. There we go. We finally got it. Uh, so under the game mode base, I actually have an... Okay. Maybe not that one. <laughs> the ship game mode. There we go. Under the ship game mode, I have all of, all of these. So we're looking for the hard shards. So those are 9 and 10. Alright. So I'm just going to pop back... Oh wait, no. These are the pop bombs, so 14 and 15. So when I go over back to our pop bombs, that's supposed to be 14 and 15 in the array thing that I've made. 14 and 15, just gonna double check that. Pop bomb. Yep, and, oh wait, hold on. Pop bomb points, why does this come up twice? I'm just going to change that to score. <laughs> this is what happens when you copy and paste, kids. It's it's not a good time. Oh, wait. Hold on. Pop rock points. Pop rock score. How is this? I don't understand. All right. So for some reason, it seems to think that there's already something named pop bomb. Oh, okay. Pop rock score pop. I don't think there's anything named this. Oh, I probably forgot to take it out of the um. Okay, so what happened was is that when I was uh, adding this, I didn't uh, align it properly. So we're just gonna grab that there and we're just going to connect it properly here. Fantastic. So we'll update the score as we go per enemy that's killed. And so back to the pop bomb, 14 and 15, double check that. 14 and 15, 14 and 15, Fanta, oh, mm, mm. no, okay, so I've done that wrong, 14, 15, it's a, it's a journey, all right, how many points was it, okay, so it was one point, so we're just going to, there we go, points one, 14 and 15, oh, wait,
This is so hard. I don't know why my brain just isn't. Okay, so the multiplier is 1. So 14, 15, multiplier of 1. That kind of makes me concerned. What did I do for everything else? Okay, cool. I did I did the rest of it right. Uh, now for the last part, which is the, uh, the hard candy, which is not going to be a lot of fun. I would make it... Oh, okay. So what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to make another parent class and then so that uh, when this movement happens, it's going to just randomly have all, it's going to have all of this stuff already attached to it. So then I can just adjust the movement of that individual thing. Um, maybe, maybe, maybe. Or I was actually going to make each of these apparent because with the enemy different enemy types that I'm going to be adding later, um, I can make these the parents, and then I can just change the change the color based on the the color of the original. Uh, it's it's a complicated process. <laughs> All right, so the scoring, so it's so ten, eleven, and a multiplier of one. Which is fair enough, because this is up. Oh, before I go around destroying everything I've made. There we go. So we're going to play the game again and see if it does what I needed to do. Um, let's jump into it after I set this up. It should work. I am pretty happy with the layout of the curd. Are you guys ready? I'm ready. All right. The classic candy corn, always reliable. Now we're gonna get hit by one of these. Ah, oh, wait, that's only, that's supposed to give me a score of 200. That's fine. Whoop. Ah, oh, brilliant. All right, the score is going up. All right, so for the purpose of testing, uh, I'm just going to go in to the, uh, the creamy candy one, multiplier of two. Eight. <laughs> oh wait, hold on. No, I wanted to change this to four, which is this should be the same thing as the candy cane, which has a multiplier of four. Fantastic. Uh, so for the purposes of testing the win condition, I'm just gonna put this two here and just connect it to the win condition, and that'll show all the scoring that I was talking about earlier. Oh, now I'm getting to the flow of things. You know, like thirty minutes into the stream. That's fine. All right, let's do this. Oh God, that was terrible. I need at least one point. <laughs> All right, so that's getting the 200. Oh God. Yep, sure, that will do. Up, oh, up. Oh. <laughs> Maybe I can, nope. Ah. There we go. Fantastic. So the score is going up as we're up. Oh, fantastic. So we have the score and it's actually got the layout. Um, it didn't uh, add the candy corn or the creamy fruit. So I'm actually going to have to go in and change that. Uh, but hey, not a bad situation. All right. So in that case, in that case, I'm going to go in and see what happened with that. But just making a mental note that the candy corn and the creamy fruit, although we did take a few of those down, it did not register. So let's just go over and find out what's up with that. So the creamy, uh, that's probably because I got these the wrong way around, I think. Yeah, it's probably because I got those the wrong way around. So three and four. And the other one was the candy corn, which is, uh, yeah, zero and one. To our ship game mode, zero and one. Oh wait, this is supposed to be two and three. So there we go. It's it's not even assigned properly because I'm such a I'm so amazing. Alright, so let's go over creamy candy. So two and three. And this is supposed to be zero and one. Back over here, zero and one points in score. Alright, so yeah, let's let's try that again. I think that was like the only thing that was bothering me. 
All right, candy corn. We definitely shot one of those. Oh god, I can't turn fast enough. There we go. <laughs> you know, it's 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 always it's always interesting for me because you know, as I'm playing it, I'm like, I know that this isn't the way that it's built. <laughs> But all the timers, like all the delays are working just fine. It's probably what's messing with me the most. There we go. Come here, ye old, ye old candy corn. I mean, candy cane. Oop. Why do I have a loser? Why, why is it stuck? <laughs> okay. This isn't great. Um... Oh, there we go. Quit. Oh, uh, I should probably have like a restart game thing in case in case my in case my uh, game dies. <laughs> That's fantastic. All right, so um, yeah, I'm probably gonna have a have some kind of mental note of some kind of. Oh, look at that! It's now moving fast enough, or at least slightly faster than it was before. Bam. Let's just get these little bits out of the way. We'll wait for those to fly past. It could be a case of the bullet if... Because I do have kill, I do have kill screens on either side that just kind of stop them from flying off into infinity. So I'm... There we go. Fantastic. Alright, so... Um, some of these values aren't assigned correctly. For example, the hard candy shard. I took a few of those out, so yeah, I'm just gonna have to go back over my code and actually have a look at what's going on. So, going into that. Why do I... Oh no! I hear, I hear my game continuing to play in the background. Okay, whatever. Um, righto, so now that we know that that's the thing, sort that out. Candy corn, zero, one, two, three, what's up next? Ah, uh, wrong thing. Uh, so after that we have the candy cane, which should be two, three, so that should be four, five. Candy cane, four, five, yep. Uh, the candy bullet, which is, uh, that's coming off of the, uh, I don't think I actually have that one opened. Uh, so the candy bullet is what shot out of the barrel of the candy cane. So, uh, as, as I understand it. Uh, so yeah, there we go. That's another one that's not quite right because it's pretty. <laughs> it's got a multiplier of twenty, which is pretty, pretty amazing. So forever, anyone who grabs that, good on you. Um, so there we go. That's six and seven and twenty. Let's delete these. Fantastic. And what's up next? Candy bullet, hard candy. So those are the those are the cherry things. Where is it? There it is. Hard candy. Ah, so that's that's what I've done. Alright, so eight, nine, and two. So because I was copying it directly instead of like trying to think about how I'm doing it, that's what's been happening. Um, and what else? Next one is the cat. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Am I going to have to go in and edit every single one of them again? Because I think I only did, I think I only did one of them. <laughs> oh no. That's okay. Well, g uh, yeah, I only did one of them. So 10, 11, and 1. So I'm just going to copy this and go in and make those changes here. Excuse me. Why are you being so rude? There we go. And just continuing that on. <laughs> Do I really need all this code? If if it's gonna be if it's gonna be the same one. Well we'll see. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Um yeah, because I, I, I suppose like working, doing stuff in game development, I'm always thinking about how I can make 
the product better not only from a customer point of view but other people who are working on it I guess because I mean in the event that I'm working in a professional well no I'm I'm aiming to work in a professional environment for me I try to make sure that you know just good coding practices as just a general general thing all right so reset and reset and that should fix everything up there go back to the ship game mode next one is the pop rock which should be up here somewhere there we go pop rock there we go 12 13 and 2 and the pop bomb which is 14 15 and 1 so that actually should fix everything up as far as I know game should compile and we'll jump in and uh, see what happens there we go there we go oh that's lovely oh it is so nice I think my I think my computer decided to you know kick it up a notch all right lovely oh all the scores are coming together all right I still got hit by that bullet that's fine Alright, I think I'm going to have to uh, change when these backgrounds pop up because, yeah, it's not fantastic. Alright, so there's no, uh, the pop bomb still doesn't have an assignment, but hey, our score works. There's, you can tell exactly what happened. Ah, oh, lovely, I love it. Alright, so the pop bomb, I'm just going to go over and just double check that that's, that's in the right place. Pop bomb, so that's 14 and 15. Pop bomb, 14 and 15. Hmm. Alright, um, apparently maybe the game ended before it got calculated, I'm not sure. But in terms of uh, game progress, uh, I think this is great. Um, it does what I need it to do. Um, and uh, just... Um, Again, my mental notes was that I needed like some way to restart the game if it if it kind of fucks up. <laughs> so yeah, that's something that we can do in the HUD. That oh, actually, you know what? I have the time. I have the time in the pause menu. All right, so I'm just gonna close all of these. Close all the tabs. I I feel like I've opened like 300 tabs in my Chrome and then just left them, and I can't figure out which one's making sounds. <laughs> that's that's how I'd be feeling right now. Anyway, we'll turn that music back on so it's not so... I don't know, I just... Quiet streams just irk me, so I try to avoid it. Alright, so... Yep, that's all done up. Oh, are we having a stream crash? I think my stream is crashing. I don't know what's going on. It's okay, it'll be fine. Oh no. <laughs> All right, well, I will keep soldiering on and get this done, and hopefully the stream will kick back in. I apologize in advance for um, any issues. <laughs> All right, so under the game status display, um, I'm going to be uh, making some changes to the pause menu. So you guys are probably very, very used to this, very used to this little platform I've got going on here. So we're gonna pause. Uh, gonna turn this off, and we're gonna go over to. Where is it? Where's the pause menu? Oh, it's under loading. So I've got the no, no, the background below. So it's just uh just to kind of uh, draw attention away from the background as that's happening. And uh, back to game settings feedback. Uh, I think I can move everything up by a little bit. Yeah, so what I'm going to be doing is the pause panel. I'm going to be selecting all these buttons. And then hopefully I can shift them up by a little bit. Brilliant. Um, doesn't tell me how much I'm shifting them up, but that's fine. And let's just add a button in there. Actually, I'm just going to copy one of these buttons. <laughs> it's It's fine. So we're going to duplicate that and it'll pop up at the bottom of the menu. Um, and from there, we're going to... There we go. And then maybe 120. 
240. 240. <laughs> this is this is not working out so well. 300. I'm just going to align these properly because I just I I don't like when it's I don't know, when I see all these digits it's just uh mildly uncomfortable. I'm actually su well, uh, net 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 positive 300 and so what we want to doing oh i'm actually i'm actually impressed with myself that's that's nice all right so 